Hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. Thankfully, the weekend is uh, upon us almost, you know, one more day. Um, continuing on with my, oh, and I've been getting some good uh, responses from uh, the, the last two days, and I'm going to continue on for a few days. Just give us a little break, and then we'll go back to normal, and then I'll come back later and talk about some more people, some of the old crew like Bruce H. Lee and Javier and Martin and Dave and all these other guys that were a part of the crew uh, going back to the 90s and uh, you know all of that stuff and oh well, they've seen a lot of stuff too the bullshit artists on the internet that came through and so on and it's beautiful to have this crew of guys that are you know been with me for damn near some of them well what 15 years uh, with Bruce it's been I think almost 20 close not quite but close to it I think I've known Bruce since 1996 or 1997 you know that's that's been a long time but anyway today's guy is uh, again I, I don't have enough uh, accolades that I can lay on this guy uh, he's well first and foremost he's Italian so that means he's a good guy right there the legendary Paolo Giordani, Dr. Paolo Giordani, originally from Italy and now residing in Sweden. Um, again, a Tri-C member, that's how I met him. And uh, he is, without a doubt, uh, simply the most generous man that anybody could ever meet. The most intellectual as far as the or I shouldn't say intellectual, analytical uh, is a better word. Uh, very intelligent, um, fun-loving, uh, knowledgeable in a lot of things. He's an artist, really. I don't mean a painter, but he sees the art, the beauty in life, in music, in culture, uh, in human beings. And he is a doctor, but he's not an MD. He's a PhD. And I believe, if I remember correctly, it's in t statistics. So, you know, um, if you've seen a pretty girl, 36, 24, 36, Paolo would say, yes, that's about right. Those are the right statistics. But, uh, no, he's a happily married man. And he has a, you know, just a, just a son and everything is just, he's got a nice life. And, you know, Paolo's had some uh, health issues with his, you know, uh, body and so on you know not not the uh, you know just injuries I should say and it, he's never let it stop him and like most people he um, has his ups and downs like all of us you know dealing with it you know the happiness the depression the up and down and um, he's always been a gentleman and he's always seen the light at the end of the tunnel he has a very good outlook okay um, well read well traveled his ability his physicality uh, is sensational he's got this natural athleticism that allows him to um, and yet humility okay that's another thing about him he has a uh, far more athletic ability than he's even aware of um, when I was young people always said oh man you're a great athlete to me Honestly, I just felt that I was fast. I was faster than everybody. I, I really was a great, you know, I had good sprinting speed. And, you know, I think sometimes when you do things, like maybe you can jump high, um, somebody might say, wow, that's very athletic. So for me, it was always just speed. I never thought that I was necessarily like a great athlete. Like uh, I couldn't do a decathlon, you know. Um, I, I mean, I could do it, of course, but I wouldn't be competitive with it. Paulo's the type that I just feel is a overall good athlete, okay? When his back's not hurting, he's he can run, jump, um, you know, he's got good strength. And uh, again, nothing, It's he's very well balanced, which is something that I can't say about a lot of people. Uh, and, uh, you know, some of, some people excel in one area and are, are um let's say over the top or you know more appropriately even world class at something like maybe a power lifter you know um, but if you're a super heavyweight power lifter and you know in, in your you know even if you could do you know thousand pound squats and you know pulling an 800 and, and benching 800 there's something that lacks somewhere 
okay? Uh, maybe you're not a sprinter, <laughs> you know, you don't have world-class sprinting speed or something. But Paulo's like, you know, many guys who fall into that just a great natural athlete thing. And he's a humanitarian, and he's helped me. And there was times when, you know, because of the hour differences, the time zone differences, you know, he's like, you call me any time, man. You know, he didn't care if it was 2 o'clock in the morning my time or 2 o'clock in the morning his time. He's all, He always had a friend. I always had a friend in him, and he always had a friend in me. And Paulo, even though I haven't said it many times, you have, uh, you know, made me want to continue on with things in my personal and professional life. Um, he's on the um, the uh, video series. Um, <laughs> I'm drawing a blank now on my own video series. This, the expose series, show versus go, and submission resistance, um, where we... We, we, we show how many of these other quote-unquote catch wrestlers or even some other grappling styles are the show holds. They don't work. We show how simple it is to, to counter these moves. And Paulo came in, you know, at his own expense, and he had training here. It was part of when he was coming in for his Tri-C thing. And we took a day and, um, you know, we filmed it. And it was phenomenal. And he, you know, that series really opened a lot of people's eyes to just how much malarkey is out there. And, um, and believe me, there's lots. And, and, and Paolo was like, you know, let's do it, man. You know, let's set the, the record straight with these folks. So I owe him a debt of gratitude for appearing on that. Um, you know, and it's, and it's the, the amount of fan mail that I've got from women all over the world since he appeared on there is like astronomical. I had to change my email address. <laughs> no, Paolo's happily married. I'm just joking around. You know, he knows my sense of humor. But, um... When Paolo first came to Chicago, he's very, he's not like me. I'm with, now, I'm going to probably offend a lot of uh, Italian Americans here, but there's a stereotype about us. Well, of course, one is the mob. The other one is that we're high strung and we're all of this. Yeah, I'm very high strung. I always have been. I come from a family like that, I guess. Um, but Paolo's not like that. You know? And uh, by the way, I do know a lot of Italians who are like me. But Paolo's not like that. He's very reserved. He's very... Um, soft-spoken and but yeah he's got that he's the type of guy that would prank someone and everybody would blame me right but he was the one who actually did it and I'd get the blame for it and that's just the kind of personality that he has and um, and I mean that in a good way and he's um, he has something that a lot of a lot of us lack in this day and age he has compassion for for a fellow person and he has the anonymous compassion, okay? Meaning, he'll help someone, and he doesn't even want them or anyone else to know that he's the one who helped them. He won't ask. He'll just do. And how can you pick fault with someone like that? You know, that's called responsibility. That's called, you know, having big, broad shoulders, so, in my life, uh, Paolo will always be my brother, and he knows that. Um, he'll always be my Italian, you know, brother. That's all there is. And um, no question, I'm, I'm a better person for knowing him as well. Uh, it's funny. Paul Dodds has helped me in certain ways, and Dave, and Paolo. And I, it's like... I feel sometimes like I'm a chameleon because I get so many good things from so many people and it's funny and I think because of the Tri-C program and I'm getting people from all over the world I'm getting touched by different cultures and these people's upbringing you know I'm not saying that we're all the same because we live in the same town or we live in the same country but generally you know we have some commonality for example I mean I'm from Cleveland everyone I knew growing up was a Cleveland Browns fan same here in Chicago. Everybody's a Bears fan. But these people who come from all over the world don't have the background, you know, that, that, that I have. And even Dave Chapman, who lives, you know, quite a distance away, you know, we have some similarities being American, but there's culturally we have some differences. It, it, not negative. I'm just saying, you know, background. And yet I can always bring, these people always bring something to the table. So Paolo has brought me warmth and, and compassion and 
and ha has shown me that you can have both brawn and brains, because he does, he's got them both, and a hell of a family man, a hell of an athlete, a hell of a student, a hell of a friend, but just they all take a second place to how he is as a man, as a human being. Um, they don't come any better. So, Paulo, I want to say thanks for being in my life. I hope I hear from you soon. And uh, everybody, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.